What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, getting a little bit better and better as the days go by. So, you know, we're getting there. All right. This photo here we're going to look at, it is from Curiosity Rover, and it is from Sol 1080. Let's just jump right into it and show you the link. All right. This is the photo here. You can see here at the top, it is uh, mars.nasa.gov, and you can see raw images, MSSS 1080, and it is the mass cam. And you can see this is a pretty decent photo, right? Now, one thing... I do not take credit for. This was brought up by this person here, Etheric uh, Ships, Etheric Dimension. It says, is this <laughs> image also pareidolia in planet Mars? See also the original link. Look at this square. Pretty interesting. What I also found interesting was that it actually has a separation right here. You see that right there? Just off to the very center of this square. You can see it right there. Okay. So I don't get the credit for this. I will show you where we can find it. And it is right here again, right here, left side. Okay, now, are all these rocks actual rocks? You guys, as always, be the judge, because I'm going to show you these rocks, and then where the blurriness is on top of these flat rocks and uh, different parts, are they being covered up items? It's an overwhelming yes. Again, they're rockifying just about everything here, using the rock mimicking software to cover up anything they don't want us to see. Okay, so let's jump right into Photoshop. Here's the photo. All right, so right off the bat, let's jump down. And you can see that's pretty darn crisp ends. You can see that right there. I mean, that's really crisp. And you've got a separation right here. And it does this here. Now, you can see the very tip of this. Don't look at the uh, these fake sand wannabe. What you want to look at is the actual color here. Just this very corner. It's like a gray. You see that? Now, here's not so much. It's hard to tell what that is, but that very corner right there is actually gray. All right, so I'm going to move up as we go along, show you some weird features in these rocks. I and mean, we'll do it briefly, and then what I'll do is I'll show you the uh, full enhancement, right? This rock. Notice this three-quarter round piece right here in this rock, but also have a, another look at here, this lower right corner. It appears to have some kind of weird thing doing this right up inside it. Folks, I'm here to tell you, they're literally hiding all kinds of stuff right here in plain sight. It doesn't help them throwing all these weird colors and the blurring and all that other crap that comes with it, right? This item. Notice how, and I'll put it right in the middle of the screen for you guys. Notice how it has what looks like a block. And then has either A, another block right next to it, right here. Or this is a cutout. So to accommodate that block, check that out. This item here, I find very interesting because it appears to have straight across, but look at the detail in it. The shape here going across, down, and it appears to almost have something round inside with a small dot right there. And also this piece coming around like this here. And it's probably one of the most mechanical things in this area up here. This is where it gets more and more bizarre. Okay, you have to pay attention to the shapes that are in these rocks. Okay, all right, here's, here's a perfect example. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. Notice this so-called rock here. It happens to have what looks like an arc shape shape in it. Now, to me, that's kind of weird that a rock would do that. We have all these little bits and pieces of items here. Notice this one also in the back here. Okay, these other little small shapes type thing. To the right of this large rock here, we've got this one here, and I'll put it in the middle of the screen, right here. Notice this, this is cool. It has, if you look at the lines, the darker lines in here, is doing this, okay? But also take note of the object that appears to be, there's something right here coming out of it. You'll see that better, much better. Looks like it's doing this up inside this piece, almost like it's a piece of machinery and not a simple rock. Notice something on the ground in front of it. Okay. Got something white right here in the background. Not sure what to make of that. Put it right there in the screen, middle of it, right there.
I've looked at this many times, guys. I'm just saying to myself, look at the blurring and the, just the artifacts that they're putting over these rocks. Like right here. They're covering whatever it is to make it look like a flat area, which is clearly it's not. At least not all of them are. You have what looks like some mechanical parts in some of these. All right, let's just get into the full enhancement. Have a better look. Now, this plate on the very bottom had some blurring on it. Is it nothing more than a plate? Well, I'm seeing a couple small details on here. Like this one here. It's long pieces doing this. There's something that's half round sticking out of that area right there. Now, here's another block I was just telling you about. You've got this rock right here. Notice that shape in there. And we have, look at the bottom or the base to it, going like this. And again, these features in this so-called rock. Now, if we look at this other rock like we were looking at earlier, you can see right here, and I'll put it right in the middle of the screen, notice some of the features in this rock, all these multiple rocks, something round right here. We have something right here, what looks like slots in it. We also have this thing now you can see a little bit better. We'll go ahead and tilt that a little bit. Now, folks, that doesn't look like a rock to me. Here's the original. Right there. And you can see these things. Go ahead and do black and white. See, there's a little bit more detail to this. This has intelligent design to it. As far as I'm concerned. These items here. Check these out. Where you've got this weird object here. Some kind of round part sitting like right there. We've got this piece here. But notice on the left hand side right there of it. You have some kind of object. And it looks like they just went like this and just blurred all over the whole thing. This one here on top of this rock. I'm not sure what to make of that. This item here. Not so sure if this is a rock or not. This item. Notice a small detail right here at the end of it. What looks like just small round pieces with holes in them, like almost like an end of a pipe. Just these alone, to me, tell all that these are intelligently made objects and they're being made to look just like rocks. Again, using rock mimicking software. And, you know, it just frustrates the heck out of you. You wish they could just say, hey, you know what? Let's just go ahead and show uh, the real deal. But we all know that there's, a, there's an agenda to that, and especially if the DOD is involved. Now, again, going back to these plates here, let's have a closer look at these. Look at this one on the right-hand side. I already showed you the one on the left here. I already showed you that. Look at the pieces here. It's, it's just the way it's laid out. See this right here? And it has that corner, but look at the actual pieces in here as well. Right there. Got all these like little shiny bits. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but let me put some color back in it. You can see what it looks like, these little shiny bits right there. It It's the way it's laid out. Now, is it possible a rock could have rolled like that? Sure. But, you know, to a certain degree. I know nature can do some crazy stuff, right? But is it that crazy? I'm not so sure. I think a lot of this stuff may be encrusted, and it may be actually still showing uh, right out of the surface of the rocks, right? All that right there. Look at the way that thing goes like this. Looks like it has two holes in it. Like I said, a lot of these things are ornate to me. These items, again, are being dressed up to look like rocks. That's all. That's pretty much it. This piece right here. Not sure what to make of this. So I'm saying, folks, just look at the rocks closely. A lot of people will say, well, you know, they're just rocks. Yes, they are, until you have a closer look. But that's pretty much it, folks. Folks, what are we seeing here? I'm seeing items, intelligently made objects, that are being disguised as rocks. This is no secret. We've been doing this for years. We know this. question is, what is it? What are they? Even if we can't tell what these things are, what they were originally used for, we can tell the difference between a rock and something that's being disguised as a rock, and you can see through the overlay 
It's, what they're doing is coloring it over like a rock, but you can see behind it, and that's the key. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. We're glad to be rocking this back with you guys, so stay tuned for more videos. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one. We'll see you soon. Peace.